we actually got sent a, a set which I already had it, so I gave it to Reeve. Yeah. And he actually really said it. He was like, yeah, it's actually really sick. Like, <laughs> he texts you in, it is genuinely good. How, how does it make you feel that when Reeve shaves, shaves his balls, he's thinking about you? Pretty good, you know. Reeve's <laughs> a very good looking guy. <laughs> Reeve's, Reeve is what I aspire to be. Yeah, yeah. Like, he's, he's just... And I just feel like shit when I'm man, not... When I, yeah, I feel like shit when I realise I'm not Reeve. Yeah. He's the perfect human. <laughs> he is. Like, I feel I bad in a way, Because you know how we mentioned Why? that in the podcast? I feel like now, like, every time, like... I feel like, like someone, people just refer to him now as the perfect human. I'm like... <laughs> He's got a lot to he's got a lot to live up to now. Yeah, he'll put a lot of pressure on him now. He probably doesn't he probably doesn't like being being called the perfect human. Probably did it as a joke in the podcast, but now like I hope it doesn't stick. <laughs> now people just say every time know, he makes like, a mistake, he's like, Oh, you're oh, you're not perfect after all. It's like, come on. You know in like rom coms and stuff, when they mention, Oh, there's this guy or whatever, and he's and they always list Prince Charming, as, yeah, he's Prince Charming, so, yeah. Yeah, it's always like so, certain characteristics, like, <laughs> oh, he's a doctor that does ridiculous amounts of charity work. Yeah. And he also does like, et cetera, et cetera. Like he's looking after, uh, he like, he loves his mom, blah, blah, blah. Like I know everyone loves him, but you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Like that's Reeve to me. If I knew anyone that was that, that would be Reeve. Yeah. I get it. Yes. Sure. Yeah. No offense, Reeve, but you have to live up to our expectations. Yeah, now. bro. Sorry, man. You're, you're literally Prince Charming. <laughs> Lucky. Well, speaking of Reeve, I've noticed yeah. that, Randolph has asked me in the past to join the Sidemen. No, and... no, happened. <laughs> <laughs> no, happened, man. He no. Has. Um, but we've got a topic here that's the perfect Sidemen, the eighth yeah. member. Yeah, so this, what is this, this going to be, you guys, right now? We're going to speak about it. Obviously, Simon have always made it clear that you're not adding anyone and you're not removing anyone. Well, I mean, we still get asked every week. Yeah. Every, yeah. every day, we always get asked, oh, like, add this person to the Sidemen. Like, for yeah. example, last stream, last stream I did was Tommy in it. Everyone, everyone. Tommy in it. When can he join the side bin? Oh, uh, get him yeah. in the side bin. Yeah, so um we were going to basically just dis- discuss yeah what it would take to join. Yeah, so I want to know first happen. before we start like looking at names and maybe people who are who exist. I want to know for you guys, right? Say if you were going to add someone and you have, you have to like open your mind a little bit now. You definitely you definitely you are going to add someone. What would be your perfect sideman? Like, what do you need right now? Like, obviously, you've got all set the seven of you right now. Each person compliments each other. But what's what's needed? Is there is there anything that like is needed that someone doesn't do well that someone could fill? Well, we kind of like he's not in the sidemen, but he is like the eighth sideman. JME. Okay. Yeah. Like, if you ever talk to him about Simon, he'll say, like, yeah, I'm in it. I'm the eighth member. Got you, yeah, yeah. Because he was actually there, like, he's always been there throughout the years. Always, like, jumped in stuff. Yeah. Um, he's helped us with stuff, et cetera, et cetera. And, like, we've always had our, like, in the GTA days, which are, like, the golden years. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> we always had the phrase, swag lines. You're from just which were... Right? And Jamie made it up. And it's just <laughs> like, there's yeah. so many things that he's impacted in the Sidemen. Like he is, he is part of it. Yeah. But then I would also say you, Freezy and Lux. Yeah. Yeah. But, we're also like, like, but we've got like our role as like the bench. <laughs> the, 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 yeah. <laughs> you're on the bench, you're on the bench. <laughs> on the, on the no, bench you know I mean? like, uh, to me, the key, the, the most key part. Yeah. If we were like, if we were taking a member would be knowing that, there's two things. One, everyone gets along with you. Yeah, yeah. And two, you have like the same goals and ambitions as us. Yeah, well, the Simon started as just a bunch of friends playing games, right? You, you never started as like, see how like FaZe are now and how Simon are now. And maybe maybe new people, Beta Squad or Evo's will be like, oh, let's create a group, you know, to run like a company style thing and post videos. That's not how it started. It just started as like a bunch of friends you know, playing games yeah. together. And, and the fact that Which like me, me Freezy and, and Lux were still around back then. We just weren't playing those games at that time. So we're still yeah, well, like, I mean, there very is literally like... episodes. There's, there's ep- low, obviously you guys have been in the videos so yeah, much. Yeah. Like those two probably more than you have been in so many episodes of stuff years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'm talking like five, six years ago. Well, that's back when I was like, I was living in Nottingham. I wasn't, I wasn't really like, I was, I was still yeah, like that's chatting to I mean. a lot of people. I wasn't really like about, I was just kind of like just, just in my uni doing work, etc. But I feel like because it is obviously done like a, it's a business, but it's a friendship group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we have our, we have our sidemen chat 
which we talk about like our videos that we're doing and stuff. But yeah. if we're ever going to talk as friends, we always end up doing it in our troops chat, which is the seven side men plus. Yeah. Randy well, Lux it'd be reason. very annoying. Like, it'd be interesting as an insight, but it'd also be very annoying to just like, us three here, you like just talk about videos nonstop. <laughs> so it's nice to have like, yeah. Little... But as in like, instead of, we don't really talk in the side men chat about stuff that isn't side men related. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Because fair. even though we are all like best mates, we're also best mates with you three as well. Yeah. So it's like you know nice I mean? to separate so, it. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, if there was going to be other members, it would be one of you three. Yeah, Jamie, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. If, if it was, was going to happen, it'd probably like, like likely be one, one of those three. But if if that was an option, outside of that, yeah, troops are not an option. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think we'd, I think, because there's loads of people that obviously we'd love to have join. Like, like, there's it's too easy to look at someone that's just popping and go them. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. oh yeah, we'd love PewDiePie in it. PewDiePie join the side man. But like, would he fit though? Would he really fit? Probably wouldn't fit in the side man, would he? That's what I mean. Yeah. I think I think one thing this is gonna sound hella like Brexity. <laughs> I think they'd have to be from the UK. Yeah. We could I mean, have first well, they'd have to live in the UK for filming. Yeah, yeah. They'd have to be from the UK, but you know. Yeah. As long as they can have film. To live in the UK <laughs> for filming. Um as much as we do play games, yeah. They'd have to be very comfortable filming real life videos. Yeah, yeah, I think I think what you would need is like if you because I mean that's the issue like like we said that right there the, the sidelines changed now. What you needed like you know six years ago was just someone to play games with. What you need now is like someone who maybe will take what you guys do but do it even better. So I feel like you would need someone who's like proficient in like real life videos and ideas and th- someone Mr. Beast esque if you know what I'm saying like someone like that to kind of like yeah come in and be like these like, are someone ideas. Someone that would come up with loads of ideas as well would be amazing, but also. Yeah. I feel like if you, like right now, I feel like we don't rely on one person for ideas. Yeah. Which is good. If yeah, someone came good. in and they would, they were like, okay, you're the ideas guy. Then it's a bit, it's, it's yeah, but then, changing not, Yeah, everything. I didn't mean like four ideas. I meant just more like inspiration to like help all yeah, around, yeah. you know, that like, who's got, like, that, like, that kind of like drive for that, that real life content, viral type, you know, content. Yeah. I'm trying to think right now of like who would, who would work really, really well? Because obviously we've done we've done collabs with people like Stephen Tries, for example. Yeah. Who and he fits in really like really well. Yeah. It would be easy to get like he could. I mean, everyone we've done collabs with, for example, would be a good fit. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, I feel like someone that I don't want to say this as like a we want to steal him, but <laughs> I feel like chunks. Yeah, Chunks would be sick. Yeah, I feel like Chunks would do really well. He's got that energy, like, like he's got that energy, like, when if he's, if he's in the group, you know, everyone just, ba- everyone, it makes everyone else better, you know what I'm saying? It makes everyone else, like, in a better mood. Yeah. It makes, you know, brightens the room up. Who who could you see? Do you have anyone in the UK you're thinking um, of that you're like? I mean, realistically, like, anyone in Beta Squad, like, when we were there, we all... Got on really well. Yeah, really I, I, I was thinking that as well, but I didn't want to like. I don't want to. I don't. It's, it's tough as well because most people are in groups as well. Because uh... yeah, but like take away that aspect. Like the side men have literally a pick of anyone. They can take. They can literally just. They just join. It doesn't just, matter what yeah, they're doing. It's hard because I was thinking more of like more of of the perfect side men and like who they don't exist. So I wasn't thinking of actual names. So now it's hard as well. Now it's hard to everything. Um, because they'd have to be, uh, they'd also, uh, it's really hard to explain because because uh, the way, the way the Sidemen is run has changed so much yeah. over years that I don't know how it will change in the future. Yeah. And I don't know if people, how they are now obviously will be like that. You know, someone could join and then not really get involved with. Sidemen, but obviously this is all hypothetical and not going to happen anyway. So yeah, no, that's, 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 why I think, that's why we're deeping it too much. That's why I think we should. Yeah. Have been, but I, I, I reckon, I, you know, I'm going I'm to flip the script. I'm going to say someone like Bambino Becky. I think it'd be great to have like a girl in the group that would shake things up loads. I was also going to say, can, like, I feel like it'd be really odd to have a girl is the thing. Nah, nah, because that's what I'm saying. Like, if it was going to happen, which is not, because it's hypothetical anyway, I think that, that would be, that would shake the group up. I mean, what they needed, you know, like a, like a, 
sad woman. <laughs> it doesn't have to be just because it's a side man. It doesn't have to be like um, you know. We say guys like yo, what's up, guys? You know. I think it, I think it'd work, man. I think it'd be sick. Yeah. On the shoots, amount of times you know, we also get told. everything there. Well, we always get told to. Uh, everyone's always like, oh, you should start a group. Like they always, they always, the name they always say is the side chicks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and they're like, yeah, you guys should start that and like you know push them basically. Yeah. And I just think the second you say you should start this group becomes like forced but yeah well that's again like i said Simon was never created it wasn't never it wasn't never started I mean. you know it just it happened so that, that's, how, that's how it has to be Nat- natural uh, and that's and obviously you would I don't, I don't think you guys would be where you are now if it didn't happen naturally because like you just you just too many too many like opportunities for failure but because you guys are all mates it works that's, that's why that's why evo is and that's why beta squad does work because you have you have to have that like you know friendship there otherwise there's no foundation to build all these things on top of but what, what also yeah. it's nice to have um you know, a non, someone you met outside of things as well. So I was going to say, to be fair, I think TP is like the eight side man <laughs> member. Yeah. She's like the so member, like brings a, it all together. Like a production, production, I don't know how, I don't know what the title is. Yeah. Like a production director. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a thing. Put it. Yeah. <laughs> um, and she, she just helps with every, everything basically. And on a, yeah, honestly, that, but that's what we've spoken about it before. Yeah. Literally, if we didn't do the Cybermen show, we wouldn't have met her, and she wouldn't have yep. come join us, and yep. we wouldn't be able to do what we do now. Because, uh, like, yeah, people will go, "Oh, yeah, you could hire, you could just hire someone else," and we could. But I, I just think because we met her through natural circumstances, not yeah, we were f- what well, even though we were like we accepted the, the Cybermen show or whatever, and she was there, yeah, we didn't. We didn't go out of our way to look for her to hire. Yeah, yeah. yeah she was just there well. and we were like, wow, she's actually really sick. She's like, she's nice, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Oh, and after the Cybin show, why don't, why, why don't we carry that on? Yeah, yeah, that's sick. So I do get that. Yeah, she's the eighth Cybin member. Because I think that? one thing that always like held you guys back is like you had all these sick ideas always, but you never would like, you know, you would never implement them because you would never know how to and then when i say you never know how to i mean like you never know how to get off the ground isn't like because of time with the, with the with what you're filming now what you're doing because i remember back in the seven house like you and josh used to just like put ideas out all the time and it'd be like oh can we actually do that though you know and then it'll kind of like get lost whereas now it's kind of like you have your ideas and you talk to tp and talk to collectively and you hire you know or you go and rent something and you figure out how to actually get these done now which i think is a big like game changer for you guys yeah 100 percent. well that it still happens though it still happens like we think of things like, oh, we should get someone to help do this. We should get yeah. someone to help do this. Yeah. And we always, we literally say in our Falls chat, down. is anyone going to do it? Yeah, that, that's and why not, I said it goes Mr. silent. That's why Mr. Beast esque would be great because that would be someone who comes in and like doesn't accept like limitations. It's like, okay, we can't really get this done, but I'm not, I'm not going to accept that. How can we then like get it done? You know, I think that's always big in, yeah. like, in these types of situations. Well, like Reacts, our Simon Reacts channel, we've had the idea for time. Yeah. We've always said like, yeah, we should just have a Reacts channel. Yeah. But, and we all knew, oh yeah, it would do well, but no one ever did it. Yeah. Yeah. And then it got to the point where I think, I can't remember who created the channel, but it was basically JJ that just went just like, okay, nah, you, you three are reacting to this tomorrow. You three are reacting to got this you, t- yeah, the next yeah. day. Yeah. Yeah, like, that's, that's it. Like, and then he did the thumbnails, the title, and it was just like, "You guys, come on, let's just do this. Why yeah, not?" Just, yeah, we, we can do it. Yeah, easily. Yeah. And now, now we've got it in like a little routine, and it's it's working. That's very sick. It is just it takes it takes one person to just you know kick the rest. Yeah, into it does, gear, man. Basically. It does always. Yeah, it always does that. So yeah, they'll, they'll, I mean, we'll have our, we'll have more stuff, and it will just be a case of one person will push the rest kind of thing. Yeah. It, it always changes as well. Like like that one, for example, was JJ. The next one might be Ethan. I don't know. Like, yeah, it all... that's why it works, man. It works as you, yeah. it's not like, um, it's not, there's no leadership in there. It's just like, people might have certain leadership qualities, but in the end of the day, it's, it's, it's just a group of like seven mates working and putting, um, and that, that's why you always said, you know, we're not going to add someone or, or remove anyone because you could add someone and it could, it could completely like change the, the fundamentals of the group. Dynamic. and in the, and and the, that's the better word, yeah, dynamic. And then it may, may never be the same, you know. So it's uh, it's uh. Um... Well, everyone always says, "Why did we live?" It was me, Josh, Vic, and JJ. We lived in a house, and everyone yeah. was always like, "Why don't you live? Why don't you all live together?" Mm. And I mean, we were all mates and everything when we started. Obviously, Harry lived in Guernsey with his parents. He was like too young to move to the UK. <laughs> yeah, Toby was at uni, and Ethan was at school. 
And then it was a thing of, oh, they've all fin- they finished those. Oh, why don't they move in? And we just said, like, firstly, we don't know if they want to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Secondly, the dynamic has just worked. Like, yeah. it's a house at the moment. It's a, it's a house. It's not... This isn't the it's side facility. men. Yeah, it's just it's just four guys who may, happen to be yeah. the side men. Like if you're not in the ha- if you don't live in the house, you're still the you're still the side men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like so, we just we just kind of yeah kept the house as it is, and obviously it didn't make it. It doesn't make a difference. They yeah. came over whenever they wanted. They filmed whenever, wherever, whatever. So, yeah, it, I mean, I think that kind of showed what the eight side men would be. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's good. If you guys, if nice you guys have go. any idea, who do you who do the comments let us yeah, let's know see in the comments because like, we, we can't really say it either because I, I don't want to a like put pressure on someone or b i just don't want to like start something so like, i don't know i don't know who i would i would i would put in but i think like i feel like van vina becker's got like a great energy but um you know it's an interesting topic as well having like a, a girl inside van to break things up a little bit but yeah let us know in the comments guys down below um and Maybe something we else we want to talk about today side men apprentice we should do a side men apprentice to find the eighth side man that would be sick to be fair yeah that'd be sick maybe like <laughs> Get YouTubers to come and pitch why they should be in it. Yeah, you should do that for sure. And then, uh, and then, like maybe the prize is not really like being a side man, but it's like a, it's like a cash prize. Cash prize, or like you're in like a month's worth of videos or something like that. Some, 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 some uh, that sounds like more work, bro. They don't want to be in. Oh wait, <laughs> side men are in theirs. No, 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 no. Like one guy, yeah. They're so like, you do the apprentice, and they have, to, they have to be, they have to be in the shoot for the next like two, three weeks or something. That sounds like more work for them. <laughs> yeah, but it, what, 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 look at the payoff. It doesn't have to be a YouTuber. It can be like a. Anyone? True. And, you know, True. They want. They they enter the competition. They want. They want to win it. 